Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Shanice. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that way you stay notified whenever I upload new videos. And welcome to the family. As you can see, I'm here in a hotel. No, I did not start my day one off with immediately a trip i was actually assigned standby so i had the 6 a.m to 2 p.m standby shift around 8 a.m crew scheduling called me and they um told me to pre-board a flight because it looked like the flight attendant number two was not uh did not sign in and most likely if around 8 25 if she's not at the plane to call them back and most likely that the trip will be assigned to me and that's what happened um I called them and now the trip is mine so i am fa2 i am working on the 175 it is a four day trip but of course i am good for a total of six days so most likely they will add to my flying and if the record is going to continue being the same as it's always been most likely when they do add to my flying i will be on the 145 but as of right now for these next four days i am on the 175 so today i just had one leg to des moines and this is where my overnight is i have an 18 hour overnight it works out well for me because as much as i dread standby i didn't have to sit on standby that long like literally i was watching a movie and by the time my movie ended, crew scheduling was calling. But most likely for the next hour and a half, I'm probably just gonna wind down and then I am going to head to the gym. So I also got a nonstop thanks um, from a customer today. This will be my second time getting this for my overall, you know, time working here. And it honestly surprised me because I was just walking down the aisle, like picking up trash and then the customer had handed me this piece of paper and I read it and it was a nonstop thing. So it's basically, in case anybody wondering, like American Airlines, it's basically like a award system for flight attendants who's basically getting recognized by their customers for, you know, doing a outstanding job. I honestly don't know what exactly spectacular I did. I just always, you know, make sure I take care of my customers. So I'm very grateful that I have been recognized for it. That definitely put a smile on my face. So hopefully that is a sign on how good my whole six day block is gonna go. Hopefully. All right, just made it to the gym. There's literally a pool connected. I was gonna come out down later, but I have been super motivated lately to just come to the gym. So here I am. trick that I want to teach everyone who is wondering. It is currently about 5 p.m. right now and I'm going to try to go to sleep because our van time is at 4 30 in the morning so I'll have to get up around 2. So since it's still only 5 p.m. here obviously there's still light outside but the only way for me to go to sleep is if it's dark in a room. So what I have done is I got a hanger with the hooks on them and I just pin the blinds closed. So that way all of the light that's trying to sink in won't come in. And now it is dark as if it is nighttime. So time for me to try to go to sleep. <laughs> So today is even going to be a shorter day than it was yesterday. I have two legs today, which is from Des Moines to Chicago and then from Chicago to St. Louis. I should be done around 10 a.m. And it's only like a four, maybe five hour duty day. So it's going to be a quick day today. So it's currently around 4.30 a.m. and van time is at 4.50. So I had checked the load for our first flight and it looks like it's oversold mainly for our main cabin because our main cabin holds 64 seats but but on my tablet it shows that 71 people had booked main cabin so most likely seven of them will be moved to first class because there's only five people in first class so let's get this day started <laughs> made it to our room so plans for today is mainly going downstairs to get some dinner around 5 30. i got a while before i'm going downstairs we didn't have to do any airplane changes today we was on the same plane for our two flights and we have close to a 20 hour overnight so 
Good yeah. morning. So today is day three, the longest day of our four day trip so far, which is going to be a 10 hour duty day. We have four legs today. We're going from St. Louis to Chicago, Chicago back to St. Louis, St. Louis to Austin, and then from Austin to New Orleans. I'm still kind of tired. So today is going to feel really long for me. It is currently going on five in the morning and van time is at 520. I, you know, tried to go to bed around seven, but didn't actually fall asleep until close to nine and i had to get up at three i hit the snooze button like three times yesterday i had dinner with my fa1 and fo my captain has a friend here so he went and hung with him so i'm just ready to get this day started and done All right, so we're done with our first flight we're now waiting to board our second flight so we're currently here in chicago but look outside it's currently raining so if there is no delay or no cancellation it's definitely going to be a bumpy ride all right our long duty day is finally over we're finally here in new orleans i just had one hiccup for the whole day which was literally on my last flight today and it was basically a customer who basically brought their own alcohol on board. However, we didn't need to like escalate it or anything because he was very cooperative. I basically told him that, you know, have to pour it out and he did, that's what he did. Um, he wasn't, you know, rowdy or anything. So that was my first time having to actually deal with something like that. But thankfully it was nothing too major. So I have been checking my schedule and of course crew scheduling has not added anything as of yet. And it's pretty gloomy today. I guess it was raining like while we was on our way here it was raining so by the time like we made it in this area it was a little bumpy but it wasn't really too bad. But it don't matter to me because I got a short overnight anyway so I'm just going to eat these beignets that our captain bought for us. This is my first time ever trying it. But that is the end of this video. I will catch you guys for part two of this six day trip. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye guys.